So you're looking to get a list of properties from Zillow to a spreadsheet. How do you do this in the shortest amount of time with as little effort as possible? In this video, I'll show you how to analyze all property listings at once. Deep dive into monthly profit, price per square foot, ARV estimates, and aging contact information all in one place. This will help you save time to find your next deal. Here I'm looking at Columbus, Ohio on Zillow. I want to be able to get all 732 listings to a spreadsheet that I can analyze. Now I want to do this for investment purposes to see which properties cash flow. You may be a researcher, wholesaler, or agent. I'm going to show you the three to download all this information. So unfortunately, Zillow does not have a download feature on their page, but one option is going over to Redfin. If you search the same exact city and you scroll all the way down, you'll see information on some stats. This allows you to download these listings into a spreadsheet. Once you download it, you'll see the spreadsheet it has information on property type, address details, price, beds, and baths. It only is able to download 350 listings at a time. So if you're looking at larger markets, you'll need to download this multiple times and then chain the spreadsheets together. If you're an investor, this information is useful, but not enough. We need income and expenses analyze if a deal will cash flow. Going back to Columbus, Ohio, how do we actually get information on whether the property will cash flow? Well, for income, we need information like rent values. So if I select one of these properties here, this is a property coming soon onto the market. Zillow provides rent Zestimate. By looking at the Zestimate and rent Zestimate, we can get an overview of what a property may cash flow for. Take it for a grain of salt. It's not always as accurate. However, in more densely populated areas, it does improve in accuracy and you can check out their website for more information. How do we automatically pull information on these property details with things like rent to a spreadsheet? If you have already searched this, one of the main methods is via web scraping. If you're new to web scraping, it basically automates copying information from a website into say a spreadsheet. Browse AI, many, are tools that allow you to monitor data, pull data, and of many different applications. So if we look at some of their pre-built bots, we could see that they have many different categories, including real estate. Real estate, they have pre-built bots, meaning you don't have to code at all. You could utilize what they already have to pull listings from Redfin and Zillow. Now, quickly to note, there are two bots here. There's one for extracting listings and one for property details. Now, what does that exactly mean? So there's two different web pages. Here is one single page where we see all listings. So what this bot does is it pulls information like price, beds, baths, square footage, and the address. Now, because it does not see rent values on this page, it cannot pull it within the same instance. So if we click into each of these, we could see first step, extract a list of properties, and we see those fields that would be extracted. Then we have the second bot, which is to get those property details once we have a URL for that specific property. Now there are three problems here. One, you would need to have multiple bots. So it's a multi-step process, which is a little bit complicated. Two, you still have to calculate things like price to rent ratio, cash flow, ARV estimates, et cetera, which will not be done automatically. You'll have to do this after you get the data. Third, by just using Zillow data, you might open yourself up to having less accurate information since you're only pulling rent from this source. And fourth, the most obvious is that this is going to take time to set up. How do you do this automatically? Instead of going through old school methods of downloading property listings or scraping them, you can go directly to Coffee Closers and use our download feature. Our AI algorithms already detect the best properties based on return on investment, strategy, as well as location. Once you download the data, you'll see all of it within a spreadsheet. Here I have the data for Columbus, Ohio, and we have in total about 780 listings. We have information on the property itself, like bedrooms, square footage, bathrooms, and we also have financials like cash on cash return, monthly profit, price per square foot, how much expenses we're going to have via down payment interest rate, and say if the interest rate has changed or yours is higher, you could always manipulate this by changing it here, say 9%, and the subsequent field will also change. You could see all the formulas behind them. 
What I really love here is that we're also bringing in rent data, more expenses like HOA fees, insurance, property taxes, and even contact information for either the property owner, if it's for sale by owner, or the agent themselves. We have as well their phone number and the coffee closers report. So really it's everything in one place. And if I do a quick pivot table, so selecting everything, going to insert and pivot table, I have here a secondary tab. And here I could see all about 780 listings broken down by house type, multifamily, single family, how many listings we have per bedroom count, number of listings. So the way we would read, say, this line here, line 16, for single family homes that have two bedrooms, there's about 111 listings. Median price is 219. Median rent is almost $1,200. Median construction year, 1926. And then we could see the median square footage as well as the maximum. Now, if I want to edit this a little bit to get more granular, I can filter down on things that I care about. So I'm going to look at single family homes only those that are turnkey ready to go, so no fixer uppers, and those that are cash flow positive. Now I could dive deeper by double clicking into any of these numbers. So let's go to this third tab where we have specifically bedrooms count for three bedrooms. And we have all the listings here and I have this sorted by cash on cash. So one thing that's really important to note here is we automatically append cash on cash, but I actually do favor to use our drip score. Our drip score is our unique score where we rank basically every single listing within a city or region against one another to show you the best deal. So we could see that the number one cash flowing deal is actually a lower drip score. It's 44%, whereas the next one is 83%. So let's try to explore further to understand why. Now, looking at that first one that has the most cash on cash return, we could see 17%. It's a three bedroom, one bath, about 1,200 square feet but on the market for five days. We could look at rent estimates further. We could see the rental comps median as a median zip code rent. We can look more in detail at these comps if we like. If we are trying to understand why did this have a lower score? We see the drip score is about 40%. But if we dive into this neighborhood, we could see it's actually a D neighborhood, which usually means it falls below a lot of our economic stats. But we don't see as much growth. At the neighborhood grade map, we can see it is actually in a D area. D area may be your strategy. Maybe you're looking to do section eight or you have a longer horizon to look for an appreciating market. So this could still be a good deal. My strategy is looking at C, C plus and B minus and then hold for the long term for them to become a B, B plus. At our sheet again, we could see at the second highest cash flow for a three bedroom was 12% and it had a higher drip score. So let's explore this listing further. This listing is actually labeled as a top pick. So it has one of the highest trip scores amongst all the properties currently listed. The photos, they are horrendous. I don't know if this was taken on an iPhone 4, an Android or what, but nothing looks to be out of order. The bathroom here is okay. Doesn't seem to be having anything broken in or any signs that this is a huge distressed property with needing you know, tens of thousands of dollars worth of work. None of that indicates it. Pretty cluttered, but that's about it. So if we click out, we could see the rent estimates once more. We could look more at the offer price and depending on our comps, we can adjust this as well to see what we would like to offer. We can also view the listing on Zillow if we like. And if we dive deeper, we could see this is in a C area. So by taking into consideration multitude of things, not just cash on cash return, but location, value at opportunity and more, we're able to score the best properties using that drip score, which is our proprietary algorithm. Now, what else can you do with our download feature? I get a lot of questions on is agent information. How do I just see all the agents that I can contact? So for all these almost 800 listings, we have contact name information, contact type, and phone number. See at times that contact name will say property owner, and that's because it's for sale by owner. So let's go over to agent pivot. So I did another pivot table. Here we could see there are 14 property owner listings, so for sale by owner, and we could look at each of those individual phone numbers. But here we have most likely all the agents that have property 
listings. This person, Katrina, has the most listings, 10 in total. This is the contact information. So let's say we want to start working with an agent to buy multiple properties at once, and we want to explore what their listings are. We could double click, and we could see all 10 of these agent listings. If we were to just select, say, one of these, we can move over to the right-hand side, select the property here, and we could see this agent Katrina. This is one of the listings. Looks like a pretty nice home, has some great photos, bright lighting, maybe even uh, if we have our own listings, maybe we want to use Katrina as our own agent. Um, but we could also see more information on this property, like seller, where their neighborhood, and comps as well. So this is a little bit of a teaser of what you can do by downloading the data by using our software directly. It basically is an overlay where you don't need spreadsheets and you can automatically find the best deals based upon your strategy. Let us know what you want to see next.